more than one way to ruin a good meal. Now I'm gonna show you how. One of the best ways to ruin a good meal is condiments. Now, a lot of times you end up eating something like grilled chicken, you're eating very healthy, but you'd lather on the barbecue sauce or the ketchup. So let's take a look at some of the things that can actually ruin a perfectly good meal, simply kind of hiding in the, uh, the flavor. So first here we have ketchup. As you can see, ketchup is one of those things that's a lot used in french fries and chicken and stuff like that, and it doesn't seem like much, but this here is one serving, and this is actually only 15 calories, but it's pretty much all carbs. It's four carbs of sugar. Ketchup is basically tomato sauce and sugar. Next to ketchup we have barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce tends to be one of the other hidden type of uh, condiments that we use. You know, just a little bit, it seems like it's gonna be awesome or whatnot, but it's actually pretty bad for you. This is pretty much all sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and this is, I, think, uh, I believe, two servings. As you can see, it's actually not much. 70 calories, 16 grams of carbs, one gram of protein. It's not very something you really want to put on your grilled chicken with your broccoli, or your celery, whatever it is you're eating it with. Next to that, we have creamy ranch. Now, this is something that's really good with carrots, and you know, even in moderation, it's gonna be all right. But here we start going from carbs to basically fat, all fat. Now this creamy ranch here is 170 calories for this serving. It is one serving. 19 grams of fat, one gram of carbs, and one gram of protein. What's in it? Mostly soybean oil, buttermilk, and eggs. Now, that's actually not that bad with relation to like say uh, uh, ketchup or barbecue sauce, but it's pretty much pure fat, so you gotta be careful with how you use it. Next up, here we have a reduced fat mayo, all natural mayo. Now, here also is another one that's pretty much mostly fat, not so much carbs. This here is about 45 calories, 4 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs. And mayo is mostly consisting of water, olive oil, canola oil, soybean oil, and vinegar. So it's, it's, you can almost say it's a little bit healthier, but keep in mind this is one of the reduced fat ones. So, so what can we do with regards to not using these condiments and maybe finding something else? Well, we can use something like mustard. Now, mustard is probably one of my favorite type of uh, seasonings or things you can use to put on things. because So many different types. There's deli type, there's spicy, there's honey mustard. And honey mustard actually tends to be one of those hidden kind of things that sounds healthy because you're like, hey, honey mustard, but it's not. If you take a look at the nutrition info for kind of like, say, the honey mustard you get at Chili's, that little thing, about 200 calories. That's ridiculous. And it's pretty much all carbs, too. So here we have deli mustard and a... Uh, this is probably one of my favorites. Spicy, good stuff. And one of the other ones that we can use is actually lime juice. Now, lime juice is also kind of one of those uh, those hidden gems. You can add it to water. If you don't like drinking water, or add, add a nice little zest to it. You can drink it pretty much all the time. Um, and it works great on chicken, meats, pretty much anything, beans, eggs, and it adds that nice little kind of tropical flavor to it. And it's great on a lot of things. One of the other things I like to do is basically when you move away from condiments, you move towards uh, seasonings. And here's Mrs. Dash. Now this is actually one of those things that we actually use a lot in my house. It goes great on chicken, anything, even if you're just seasoning the meat before you cook it or even after you cook it, salad, anything. And also one of the other ones that I like to use is, well, classic pepper. Now, I have read that pepper is actually one of the most contaminated type of spices, but if that doesn't really concern you, well, then who cares? And one of my favorites, uh, seasoning type of things that you can use after is hot sauce. I'm going to show you all the kinds of hot sauce that we have in my house. As you can see, most of these bottles are, are used. And if you don't like spicy things, I feel for you. Because it's probably one of the most awesome things. It's such a wide variety of things you can get in spices and between different types of chilies and different types of mixes. And that's basically, uh, hot sauce is just basically uh, vinegar and, and spice, whereas, you know, lime juice is just lime, basically no calories in it, and mustard is just mustard seed. You know, you're going to get a little bit of carbs, a little bit of sodium in there, but it's pretty much negligible. So as long as you stay away from the condiments and stick towards more towards the seasonings and the spices, you're going to be good. 
Well, one of the most things that makes me cringe a lot is people say, oh, I eat healthy, you know, I had grilled chicken and this and that, but I can't lose weight. And then you watch the meat and they slather it. Literally just drenched in barbecue sauce. And it is good stuff, but you gotta be careful with it. Thanks here with eatsethrift.com.